Unfortunately, it did the opposite. This morning, a stunning about face from acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley apologizing to the Navy and to former Captain Brett Crozier days after dismissing Crozier from command of the USS Theodore Roosevelt and then excoriating him in remarks to the crew of his ship. On a recording obtained by NBC News, first published by the military website Task and Purpose, Modley accused Crozier of a betrayal of trust for writing a widely circulated letter which sounded the alarm about an outbreak of the coronavirus on his ship. If he didn't think, it was my opinion, that if he didn't think that information was, was going to get out into the public in this information age that we live in, then he was A, too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this. In a letter overnight, Modley writing, I want to apologize to the Navy for my recent comments. I do not think Captain Brett Crozier is naive nor stupid. He is smart and passionate. I believe precisely because he is not naive and stupid that he sent his alarming email with the intention of getting it into the public domain in an effort to draw public attention to the situation on his ship. Just hours earlier, we pressed President Trump about whether Modley's initial comments were appropriate. Different language, it's, Mr. it's tough language, but I, I don't want to. Let, let's not get into that. It's tough language. Modley's comments came just two days after this video circulated online, showing supportive crew members cheering Crozier as he departed the ship. Now, overnight, the Democratic House Armed Services Committee chairman called for Modley's removal for his critical comments against Crozier. Meanwhile, President Trump said yesterday he may intervene in the Navy's decision to dismiss Crozier, saying while Crozier's letter was a mistake, he doesn't want to, quote, destroy somebody for having a bad day.